Hey everybody, Mike Wood here in the bright sun on a winter day in April. <laughs> uh, I came out to a neighbor's uh, place to take a look around and see what I can find um, because this is a place where I've seen death camels a lot. And I probably should have brought a tripod, but it's all right, we'll see how we do. There's a lot more happening out here than you might think amongst all of this sagebrush and grass. And this is one of the few places where I know I can come and find sago lily growing quite abundantly. And right next to it, death camas. Sago lily, death camas. And you really need to be in person to totally understand the difference between those two, but once you see it, there is no way you're gonna mistake this death camas for a sago lily. And so that's a tour that I really like to share with people so they can see those differences. And there's another death camas right in there. Then another one right back in there. So I'll tell you just for the sake of doing the, the video, so there's a little bit for those who can't come in, but Death Camus has a nice sharp V on the back of the leaf there. You see how the leaf folds and has a real sharp V shape. It's folded where the sago lily is rounded. It's not coming to a sharp V on there. It's just nice and round. So that's one quick, easy way when all you have is leaves. Let's adjust it here. When all you have is the leaves to identify that's one easy way to see it. Now you can also see a difference in the color. Sago lily is usually much more pale and that is interesting. I never really paid attention to that before, but look at that. What does that indicate? We're talking about a yeast on there. I'm gonna use sago lily leaves to do a bread start because that is a yeast on the outside of the sago lily that you don't see on the death camas. I've mentioned before that salsify looks more like the leaves of death camas than, uh, than the sago lily does. And one of the distinctive things with salsify is you'll have a lot of little white fuzz all around the leaves and down at the base. And here with death camas, you don't have any of that. There's no fuzziness, there's, there's no white hairs, there's nothing there. So that's another way to, to be sure that you're looking at death camas and not something edible. Unfortunately, it's a little early to show the salsify side by side because this is all we've got from salsify is last year's dead plant and nothing new growing yet. So come on out and learn. I'd love to teach you more with Wild Utah Edibles Tours. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to know more and, and do some hands-on tours, go on over to wildutahedibles.com and click on tours and sign up for my main tour sign up. Every time I do one, I'll send out an email and you'll be notified. Thanks for watching.